You know, the left used to love Elon Musk. Loved him. Zero emissions this. Save the planet that. Electric cars this. Go to outer space that. Mars. Save the environment. The planet. Man, they loved Elon Musk. So, what has happened? Now I know, but I'm asking you to start thinking. I know, but I'm not allowed to say on here. In my opinion, allegedly, the save the planet thing comes from allegedly, in my opinion, allegedly, in my opinion, if do your own research, come to your own decision about this, but it might be, uh, you, might, you find out if it's a Marxist, communist mind control thing so when they find out here's what's happened and then here's what's the the irony and kind of the dilemma is what they found out is wait a minute make each home you the homeowner you own a house your roof is a solar panel and now you've got battery banks and now you're independent from the slavery and the wars of oil and each home is its own energy company. Each home is its own independent energy company. Whoa, wait a minute, that's power to the people. Oh wait, and cars driving for free, they're really good quality, so they're gonna last a million miles. And then they're gonna put solar panels and power walls in their houses and they're gonna drive for free. Oh, wait a minute. And they're so good that you don't spend money on advertising. Oh, wait a minute. And you're so good that you don't need unions and your employees are happier than the union auto workers that fund this particular side of politics, this particular party. You don't really care about the planet. You, you, the media, the people, the, wait, you're, wait. So it's not about saving the planet. This political, this certain type, now, now they're attacking him and attacking Dave Chappelle and attacking, what? So think about it. It's not really that they care about the environment. It's not really that they care about the planet. It's a mind control, in my opinion, allegedly a Marxist mind control it's, it's about control. It's about slavery. Now here's the dilemma and the irony is, so here's go red, white, and blue, human rights, free speech, America, red, white, and blue, big cyber truck, yeah, independence, freedom, but the traditional, uh, let's say, redneck, you know, Chevy driving, doesn't like Elon Musk because they're still stuck in the old perception of Elon Musk, which is like, you know, the left. So they kind of aren't on board yet. But then at the same time, you've got the left, in my opinion, allegedly communist Marxist control you know go global warming is really just a way to control the population like you got those people now hating elon musk <laughs> so it's this irony and and i've lived that transformation myself like 2018 i was like stupid electric cars yeah right self-driving yeah right stupid teslas but they're pretty cool but they're expensive didn't get it now i get it and I've made that transformation from, yeah, drill, baby, drill, to, oh, wow, each person individually is their own energy company. If you're a homeowner, you should put the solar roof, which is stronger and more durable than a normal roof, and the, and the power wall. So, so it's become the red, white, and blue America Texas company, right? Tesla is a Texas company. So... Th the amazing thing, so 
it's it's really good in a way that it is exposed certain political views as to what they really are because if you care about the planet and you really care about going green is it green save the trees or is it green put the money in your pocket going green and you really care about all that stuff well then Tesla's the best it's a it's a philanthropy it's the most philanthropic efforts ever so if you really care about that stuff, then you should love Elon Musk because he has made a huge difference for humanity. So why do you hate him? Baloney. It's all baloney. Wait a minute. Free speech, individual powers and freedoms, and giving power to the people, and each homeowner is going to become an energy company? Independence and power to the people? One of the things that I loved about Trump is lower the taxes to the rich, the corporations, which creates more jobs, but then the jobs, everybody has more jobs and is making more money, but then they pay more income tax, and that's how the government gets the tax. Now, what's the genius in that, and what do I love about that, is the individual then has to pay the taxes so they start to think. They start to think in ways how to build businesses so they d invest. They start to find ways how they start to do homework. But if you enslave everybody and you lower the taxes to the, and you raise the taxes to the rich, the rich just shelter their companies, their money in other companies, other assets, offshore things so they don't really pay it. And and meanwhile, they're in more power to them. So by raising the taxes, lowering taxes to the people that create jobs and creating more jobs and raising the taxes to the individual forces the individual to think and gives them the power. Okay, so you have all these things aligning. The people that are for the power to the individual and true good human rights that's who the left hates and that's who the left is censoring and it's amazing what what is this like really being against killing babies is a bad thing I mean if you were to take a hammer and smash the egg of an eagle oh boy Oh boy, you'd be you'd be not only locked up in jail, but they'd uh, destroy your your whole thing, right? But boy, destroy the egg of a human, then that's okay. That's the woman's rights. Um, what what has happened to common sense? So the left used to love Elon Musk, and now they're silencing him. How ironic! And at the same time, you have the red, white, and blue Go America Chevy driving jacked up truck. That's the cyber truck. Freedom, America, individual rights, gun rights. That's Elon Musk. So they're not kind of on board yet. But meanwhile, the left is like, guys, wake up. If you're driving around listening to your boom boom music, sucking on your vapes, and just doing what you decide to do and you're not realizing listen when you're driving around you want to be listening to Mike Levin you might want to be listening to the old Rush Limbaugh show now run by Buck Sexton uh, you want to follow solving the money problem you want to follow solving the money problem on patreon Yeah, you um, need to feed this because it's an interesting battle and you can be duped and, and they have controlled the vocabulary in such a way. They use the word phobic. Well, phobia means irrational fear, irrational fear. Um, 
And again, at the fear of being censored, I can't say some of these other things, but they control the narrative. Progressive. They, they call anybody racist. Nobody wants to be a racist, so you can't love America, you can't be white, you can't... But oh, how the left used to love Elon Musk. Why is it? I'm asking you to do your own thinking. Dig deep. Search out. Protect. I mean, this is this is very vital. We are under. Um, yeah, there's reasons to be concerned, but do research on what. Anytime somebody says, you know, saving the planet and green and global warming and environmentalists and so lately now Jeff Bezos is donating all his money donate giving all his money away no he's putting it into a mind a, a population control a mind control an educational control an influencer called the earth <laughs> saving the planet anytime they claim to be saving the planet and doing it you got to be careful there's a great book called 1984. I know you won't read it because you're too lazy. And that's why the left thinks you're dumb. I know you won't read it. But you really should. War is peace. Right? Uh, these things, these quotes that come from that book. But you should read it. But oh, how interesting it is that the left used to love Elon Musk. So what is that? 